Last week, President Obama accepted Amar Amariana's invitation to Flint, Michigan to address the water crisis. Water O debuted. Oh, sorry, I'm a little nervous, got to click. There you go. Mariana, she's an eight-year-old girl who, along with other hundred uh, fellow residents from Flint, Michigan, tried Water O. As a matter of fact, they all loved the product as soon as they tried it. Flint, Michigan, if you were to fix their lead, lead pipe problem, it'll probably take about three to five years. Cost, $55 million. But imagine this, a fraction of that can actually solve the contaminated water and actually provide pure water. Our solution is to provide clean water. If you look at the United States, there's actually lead, arsenic, mercury, and other heavy metals in cities that we've never even heard of. But taking the scale out, if you look at the rest of the world, 10% of the world has a water, po water pollution problem. 10% is $700 million. That's twice the population of the United States. Now, if you were to get some clean water, you'd probably go out and buy a filter like this. But these kind of filters do not clean out any other uh, smaller particles, such as mercury, lead, or even salt. Some of you may even go for these under the sink solutions. Two problems though. One, they take hours to install, and a second, they're very efficient. If you were to put four, four gallons into this machine to process, one gallon would actually come out. 20% efficiency. Let me introduce you to Watero, the next generation water purifier. Sorry. And then, here we have two devices. We actually brought two water sources here to demo for you. One, we actually brought lead water, contaminated water from Flint, Michigan. Uh, he's going to be pouring that in for you. See how easy that is to put in? The next device, we're actually going to be using salt water. Salt water is actually smaller than your typical lead or any other antibiotic particles that you see. Going back to the slide, let me explain reverse osmosis for you. It's very simple. You pretty much have a semi-permeable membrane, and you apply a high pressure from one side and a push it through to the other side. That way, you'll be able to remove particles such as bacteria, virus, lead, and results pure H2O. The great thing about Water O is that we have a patent technology that, that does a res Sorry, this is a blank slide, but this is supposed to show our four filters that we have here. And so what, what it is that I'm trying to depict is that when we put water into the filters, it, causes, it passes through four filters. But before it reaches the fourth filter, it goes through recycling. Uh, continuous cycle where it actually goes back into the refill tank and it processes through again. That way, we're able to achieve 80% efficiency. That's already four times better than your traditional reverse osmosis systems. Oh, there's a the slide. There you go. So you got w the first filter, second filter, third filter it goes back to the refill tank and then it goes through the process again. That way, we're able to reduce waste, unlike the traditional reverse osmosis systems. Now here, we're, we're, we have a TDS display. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Particles Measuring parts per million, Particles Per Million, or PPM. What this tells you is how, she, how many particles are actually in the water. Now, on our device, we have two TDS displays. The first one is actually to show you what the water is before it gets filtered, and the second to show you what comes out of the filtering process. On top of the LED display, we're also providing you four filter meters here. When it starts to blink red or gets low, that's a really good indicator for you to change your filters. 
Now, here as a reference, you're able to see from a scale of 500 to zero on a TDS level uh, comparing to other brands. Now, hopefully, when we turn back to our device here, I'm able to, if you could get a camera on this first device, Flint Water, we initially had uh, 143 TDS. After going Can we get through the, the devices on the screen? There you go. Yeah. Do we have it? There you go. So this side right here. So Flint Water, we got 147 TDS. Coming out, it comes into the reserve tank so that when you actually dispense the water, you have five TDS. Salt water, remember, it's actually smaller particles here. Salt water, we actually have a level of 543 TDS. Going through the filter process, now we actually have 17. Going back to the slide, remember this chart here? That falls at the very, towards the bottom. That's usually the typical purified water range that we like to aim for to drink our waters. 500, that's more like your tap water, if not dirtier. So in our filter, in, in our device here, we have four filters. The first one is, actually, is our PP con filter carrying two activated carbon filters, and the fourth one is uh, made by General Electric, the reverse osmosis filter. All filters are made in the US, and replacement parts are $80 per set, not per filter. Wrap it up. Now, to give you perspective here, Dasani is cost you 60 cents. With Wadero, it's going to give you three cents. That's actually 20 times a lot better than your typical brands here. Now, with Wadero, we're also a smart, smart device where your smartphone is actually enabled with the, the device through Wi-Fi. You can actually control your um, you can actually control your, let me go back up to the slide. You can actually control your device. You can actually rate, uh, see where your TDS level and share it with your friends and family. Today, on waterlpurifier.com, we're able to offer this at a pre-sale for $399, available uh, in June of this year. Water o, we're also partnering up with a global nonprofit called Water is Life. We're, we're going to be donating to thousands of families uh, through, through our campaign that we'll be launching in the next few weeks. Why don't we wrap it up right there? So nice work, Water Thank o. You. Yeah, I appreciate you guys had a lot of uh, technical problems to give you a little extra time, and I'm sure we'll cover some of those other issues during the uh, judges Q&A. I guess first of all, is, can we actually try the water? Oh, absolutely. Uh, who's, who's the uh, guinea pig? So I have a question while you guys are doing that. Um, so I saw you, you started out with the Flint water and then now you're down to like Aquafina quality. You also had a Brita filter there. Oh, it's only for the peach. Oh yeah, but my question is, if I were to just take tap water and put it in a Brita yeah. and get it out, like what number is that? And then also how does this compare to like Boiling water. Yeah, like sure. what number is boiling water? Um, definitely, the um, brother water um, doesn't doesn't decrease the TDS at all. So we test it. Um, it when in Los Angeles, the tap water is around 300. The brita just decreases the TDS to 250. So they only take out very small part of the TDS. So brita is just like a total fraud. Oh, the brita only the changes the fevers, so we think it's safe. And uh, for the boiling water. Uh, the, it uh, almost doesn't change the TDS at all, but it uh, it kills the bacteria, so somehow it's helpful. Okay. And how do you think about part? Is is the number of particles correlated with how good the water is? Because I I noticed Fiji water was in the hundreds. Yeah. A lot of people, uh, probably all marketing, but a lot of people like Fiji better than Dasani, oh. and be it's theoretically because it has minerals that make the water taste good. Yeah. Do you, are you filtering out good stuff as well as bad okay. stuff when you so, put particles down? So some people like pure water and some, like, some people like middle water. So first step, we are doing the pure water version. And uh, we have a uh, version two with the modular things. You can add anything you like, even the fevers, the orange fevers like that. Oh, yeah. So that's our next step. 
Awesome. Yeah. So, Great. so what's the? Um, you, you said that the, the efficiency of the underwater reverse osmosis system is 25 percent, I think, and yes. this is 80 percent. So yes. less wasteful. Um, but uh, what's the uh, duration of the life of the four filters? How often okay. do you have to change them? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Because if we re recycling the filters, the filter usually should be a little bit less than the, the normal one. But uh, as we know, a lot of uh, filter cam a lot of reverse osmosis companies they earn their money on the filter side, so they overcharge the filter. Our machine don't overcharge the filter. We just don't want to push that to um, to make people think they they need to pay a lot for the pure water. So. Our, uh, our time to change the filter will be a little bit quicker, but our, the total cost is decreased. Sure, but just on average, just from a consumer experience perspective, yeah. once a month, once every three months, once a week. Okay, so I know it depends on how much water you drink. Oh, yeah, so it depends on how many uh, waters you drink, but basically the quickest time you want to change is the PP filter because it's the first filter, so it's around uh, three months. So you're looking at between Eight to uh, eight months to a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the hour filter, it's, it's all, it's maybe one and a half year. It's good. Yeah. So, uh, delicious. Y the the product costs three hundred ninety nine dollars, yeah. right? Yeah. And you're talking about Flint, Michigan, where it's not just about water; it's about taking a shower. Yeah. But everything. So, I don't know how much the actual machine costs you versus the technology that you've built inside it. The hard piece. Why aren't you making those to sell to home people that are building homes that, that it can attach to your water filtration system <laughs> so that you're basically affecting all the water in your entire house versus trying to sell it directly to a consumer? Yeah, for this question, because uh, this one is good for cooking and for drinking, but for the household water, this, ma this machine is not uh, big enough for the whole house of the water. Right. Yeah. Right, so why aren't you doing that yeah, one? Yeah, because um, for now, fling, uh, you need to wait a long time to fix the pipes. But they fling people, they live there. They, at least uh, we can get their instrument um, free, uh, clean drinks and uh, for cooking. So it's a direct uh, solution for them. So, so real quick, can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down on the water? How are we feeling about it? That's good. I'm still yeah. alive. Yeah, yeah you're still alive. Check with I mean, me later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And remind me, so those are, one is the, uh, the salt water, one is the water from Flint, is that right? Salt and Flint. Okay. Yeah. How'd, you, how'd you get that, get that on the plane? Who knows? We you actually mailed it over. It cost us over 100 bucks to ship two gallons over. You guys properly labeled these before and after, right? Yes. <laughs> just, just checking. Um, uh, the other question uh, that I had is, um, you're, are you not only taking particles out, but we talked about the boiled water. Are you, are you also bacteria. able to kill bacteria or take it out or? Yeah. So tell um, me yes now. I mean, I drank the water already. Definitely take bacteria out because the bacteria is bigger than the chemical heavy chemistry. So okay. if we can we we can chem uh, take chemistry out, so bacteria is definitely out. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I might I have missed so. it, but how are you selling it today? You're selling it direct to consumer. Yes, right. we are selling direct to consumer online. Is we want to be the like the Casper in the water purifier. Yeah. Where do you think you can ultimately drive pricing? Um, drive the pricing? Yeah. So hopefully the price will come down over yeah, time. The, do you have a sense price? where you know those levers are for you? It's around uh, three thousand units. W uh, the pricing will be go down uh, so when we ma massive production. Are you asking how low the price could go once they get to scale? Yeah. So w yeah. How low do you think the price would go once yeah, it becomes a mass so, uh, uh, product? It's like 30% uh, lower. Great. Well, give it up for Wateroo. Yeah.